you all so much for being here and welcome back to CES. Thanks for being at the press conference. I'm super excited to be back here three years from when we revealed John Deere's first fully autonomous tractor. And I'm thrilled to say that these tractors are already being used by farmers to prepare the soil for seeds to be planted next year. That was a giant leap forward three years ago, and today we're going to take another giant leap forward in John Deere's autonomy journey. Actually, we're going to take four giant leaps forward. But first, let me share three key reasons why we're on this path. First, the customers we serve every day in agriculture, construction, and commercial landscaping have a wide variety of challenges in their work. One challenge they all face is limited labor availability. Not only has this been an issue recently, it's been a challenge for much of the last two decades. And there are many factors that contribute to the labor gap, things like rural to urban migration and an aging industry demographic. But regardless of current events, this has been a persistent challenge that we are intent on solving. Never in my life did I expect an autonomous tractor to exist. I was of the age starting the farm where we had no cell phones. So to make the leap from no cell phones to being able to control a tractor from my phone is just like That you could physically see where this tractor is on an app, watch its production, start it, stop it, see it in the field, driving down the road, doing its job, this is exciting. I mean, I think it's gonna be exciting for the entire farming community. Orchard tractors need to navigate through dense canopies with trees that are up to 30 feet tall. That's much taller than the tractor itself. And those, the density of those branches create challenges for traditional GPS. And so these challenges have required a different approach for obstacle detection and navigation. So in addition to the seven cameras around the tractor, we've also introduced LiDAR sensors as well. Now, LiDARs provide depth information, and that allows the tractor to know where the trees are and how to navigate between them. So one of the coolest visualizations is what the tractor sees through its LiDAR sensors as it's going down the road. So let's take a look. This is what humans would see. And then over here, we can see the tractor has identified the trees, put red bounding circles around them. It can see small obstacles. And you can even tell the tractor is calculating the optimal route through that orchard many times a second. So this fully electric tractor is powered by up to five immersion-cooled batteries. And that means that farmers can not only meet their operational needs, but also achieve their sustainability goals as well. Plus, fuel costs, maintenance costs, and maintenance downtime are all reduced by about half. Today, we're testing this electric tractor with real customers in real orchards, and our plan is to introduce autonomy as we scale the pace of autonomy across our fleet. Meet our fully autonomous ADT, or as our team would say, meet Dusty. This big ass truck, and yes, it really is this big in, in real life, is one of the many types of big earth moving equipment that we manufacture in Davenport, Iowa. This machine leverages the same autonomy stack as its autonomous farming siblings. It starts with high performance electronics, designed and tested by John Deere for over 30 years to operate in Earth's toughest environments. To be able to run and see a machine and be able to operate it from my desk will eliminate the training, eliminate safety factors. You want everybody to go home safe. It's gonna increase productivity out in the mine and give me more time to be more creative of what we need to do in the future. Today, Deere is revealing a new autonomous commercial mower. Our autonomous mower uses the same second generation autonomy technology as the tractors and the articulated dump truck you just saw. But since the machine is smaller, it doesn't need as many cameras. This mower features four pairs of stereo cameras, one in the front, one in the back, and one on each side. And they're positioned as high as possible on the machine to give us a complete 360 degree view around the mower. 